Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a collective energy reading for soulmates and twin flames. A lot of people get kind of confused about how these readings work. Well, the thing is, time works very differently in the astral realm. And all the things that manifest physically manifest in the astral realm first. So, say you get a text message from your ex out of the blue. You might be having dreams about them before they text you. You you might there might be this this telepathic communication. You might feel a heart chakra opening, that kind of energy um before you actually get a text from this person. That sometimes happens because it's like your your spirit, your soul is active in the astral realm um and you're you're telepathically communicating with each other and then eventually that that manifests in the physical realm so so keep that in mind everything happens astrally first and then happens physically and i know there's there's so much confusion about how these these readings work um from from what i've noticed it's just basically these collective groups of people that are in the same energy I don't know if you've ever noticed that you'll be talking to someone. You might have a specific friend that you talk to, and there you guys are just always in the same energy. You have a bad day, she has a bad day. It's it's, um, you know, your ex comes back, her ex comes back. It's kind of designed that way. It's like you guys can help each other, so you can figure out what the lessons are that you're trying to learn together, and you can communicate and navigate through that energy um, together. So so there's these collective energy groups that are in the same energy. And on top of it, these readings are timeless. So like I said, everything manifests astrally first. So that means that your spirit and your soulmate spirit or your twin flame spirit, you know, this could be a, an ex, a current lover. This could even be someone new that's coming into your energy field right now that you're going to meet in the new, near future. Um, whoever it might be, they can, when I do these readings, they can come and channel through me. And then when you go through YouTube, you're led to my video. You might see the picture or it might be just something that I am channeled, I'm drawn to put out there that will draw you to this video. So keep that in mind that I, I am really channeling um, your, you know, your, your significant others. Um, and then it's like I'm channeling, I might be channeling you as well as them. You know, sometimes they come through me to get messages to you, but I feel like sometimes you guys channel yourselves over here. And so when you look through YouTube, it's like your soul already knows, like you were already here in spirit, or they were already here in spirit at least. And and so you're drawn to these videos, whether it's the image or whatever it might be. Um, that's how that works. It's just these collective energy groups, you know, like you always, your intuition knows, like you know if this message is for you, you know if this resonates for you, you know who this is about. Um, you know, you'll you'll be drawn to it if it's for you. Anyway, I'm going to get a, go ahead and, and get into the reading. So I, I will say that I feel some nervous. I mean, there's a lot of nervous energy, obviously, with the coronavirus and everything, all the uncertainty we have right now. Um, I do feel some nervous energy from this could be an ex-partner. It could be somebody who's kind of wanting to reach out. I do feel like a lot of people's exes are going to be reaching out right now because of the coronavirus and a lot of them, you know, people that work in bars and restaurants, clubs, whatever else, they're having a lot of downtime to focus on themselves and focus on who they are and what they want and, and do the inner healing work. You know, this process, as crazy as it is, there, there's so much beauty in it because we're, we're being forced to face ourselves and we're being forced to give mother nature a break. You know, you see the animals in, in nature, it's, it's thriving right now. The animals are thriving right now. The earth is just breathing and relaxing right now. And we're doing this collectively with her. We're, I mean, I know things are scary and uncertain. I'm not saying it's all, you know, roses and daisies and all perfect, but, but we are taking a step back and breathing and healing and, um, you know, focusing on, on art, on music, on friendships, on, um, you know, whatever it is that you love doing, your, your hobbies, um, working out, whatever it might be, you were, we're having some, some downtime to actually, uh, really get back in touch with ourselves and, and get in touch with nature. And, you know, we have, if you watched my other video on the coronavirus and everything that's going on, you know, this is mother nature's last chance that she's giving us. We've got two choices. We can keep going on the path we're going down. Or we can work in harmony with nature. But anyway, I'm not going to get too much into that. If you want to 
get into that, you can watch my other video that I posted last night. So anyway, let's get into this, the collective energy. So I do feel like I was saying, sorry, when I channel, I tend to go kind of fast sometimes because the way spirit speaks, it's just very, it's very quick. And sometimes I, I get off topic a little bit. Um, I, I do feel the energy of someone that is nervous. And I, I do feel like a lot of our exes are going to be coming back around this time. Um, I feel that collectively for a lot of you, actually, that there's someone around you that I don't know if they're shy or maybe they hurt you a lot and they know that they they know they messed up and they don't know what to say. But I feel like with all the uncertainty, it's kind of like <laughs> you're the person I want to survive the apocalypse with. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy like they want to talk to you. They want to make sure you're safe, but they have too much pride to reach out is the problem. So that's why they're not reaching out. There's, there's just this shyness, this anxiety, this regret. Um, what else? I feel a very protective feelings from the masculine men right now, like the masculine energy. Again, please don't get caught up on semantics where, you know, masculine, feminine, it's, it's whatever energy you're in. Um, so usually masculine means male, usually feminine means female. But if that's, um, if you're transgender or if you're if you're whatever else you want to be, it's it's whatever energy you resonate with. So please don't get offended or caught up on the the wording of that. That's just how I word my videos. It's it's whatever energy you're currently in. So I feel like the masculines are they have a very protective energy about them right now. Like they really want to protect you. They really want to come in and protect you. They're just not sure certain that you're gonna let them do this. Let me get some cards from this deck that I made actually. Oh. So the first one that came out, I don't know if you can see that okay. I might have to, okay, you can't see that. Sorry, I'm going to have to get a new camera and figure this out. <laughs> I don't know, can you, you guys can't see that. I'll read them to you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I've got, I want to make the first, I want you to make the first move. You have the green light to go for it. I've got, I'm ready to love you the way that you deserve to be loved. And I've got true love, 1111. So if you've been seeing 1111 everywhere, that's that's them tuning into you, um, tuning into your energy and trying to connect with you telepathically. I feel like a lot of them are trying to connect telepathically and astrally right now with you. Um, they're they're just they're feeling your energy and they're they're wanting to reach out. I feel a lot of pain with the masculines right now. Actually, like they really are wanting to get in touch with you. Um, Sorry about my camera. I just got a new laptop and I'm not great with technology, so I'm learning how to set this up. Um, I, I will fix this within the next week or so. Um, I'm going to work on it probably tomorrow or after this video. So just just bear with me with the, with the low camera quality for now until I can figure out how to fix that or go get a new camera next week. Either way. <laughs> All right, let's see. What messages do we have here? I feel like these ones want to come out. Pull some more. All right, the collectives. The collectives. I feel I'm crying. Like I feel like they really miss a lot of you. Like the people that are being drawn to this video. Like I feel like they really, really miss you. Like I just I feel that energy so strongly, and they just have so much pride. Um. Crap, how do I make this work? Is there a way to... No? Okay. My camera just wants to suck. Um, I am overcome by nostalgia and heartache. My heart has not healed. And and so they're being, like I said, they're being faced, forced to do this, this inner healing work um, right now. You know, they're being forced to face themselves. And it's really helping your connection because they can't just work the nine to five job anymore. They can't just go out and pretend like everything's okay with all the collective craziness that's going on right now, all the chaos. They can't just ignore your connection anymore. They can't just pretend like it's all okay. Um, they're, they're being forced to face it and to face their feelings for you. They're being forced to slow down because a lot of them just want to go, go, go. And they just want to keep working and keep distracting themselves and push you to the back of their mind. But to, with the universe, with what's going, with everything going on right now, they can't do that anymore. Again, sorry about the camera. Just bear with me. I'm going to have this fixed as soon as possible. I'll just have to, just for the meantime for this video, I'm going to have to read these to you. I am afraid that your feelings for me are purely platonic. So they are afraid. I feel, okay, so I feel two different energies. And I feel like this could be for two specific people watching this. I, I feel like it could also be, um 
two different men that are going to come to you. For some of you, it's two different men. For some of you, it's just one. But I, I do... I do feel like these these exes, these people are going to come out of the woodworks. They really are. Um, and so this person is afraid that your feelings are purely platonic. Like this person is shy. They're a little bit insecure. They're not sure if you like them. They don't want to risk getting hurt. And they do have a lot of pride. So they might need you to make the first move. I also feel the energy of someone who hurt you. And so they're kind of afraid that you're not going to give them a second chance. They're they're afraid that you're just going to want to be friends and that you're going to shut them down and you're not going to let them in again out after all the after all they did. Um, I want you to have fun and live your life. Don't wait for me. So this is someone who's you know again just kind of like they miss you. They it's like a confusing chaotic energy. Ugh. I feel like they're kind of like in this, this, this very sad energy. They're almost throwing themselves a pity party. They're like, you know, you don't, you deserve more than me. Like it wasn't me. It wasn't you. It was me. Um, you know, go have fun. Don't wait for me. I'm going to take forever to, to get caught up. And you know, if they feel that way, they can find, <laughs> they need, ugh. Masculines get frustrating sometimes. I swear. Be clear about what you want. So this might be a masculine who really doesn't know. If you're interested in someone else, if you're interested in them, if you want them still, they just, they don't know what's going on. The time is now. So a lot of masculines are coming forward now. They they know that, they know they can't keep waiting. They, they know that they need to get out of this victim energy and they need to do something. Um, and then we have, I am unwilling to be vulnerable about this time. So it's like, it's very mixed energy. They're like, yes, I need to do something. I need to come forward. And then they're like, oh my God, vulnerability scares me. And they hold on to their pride. And it's just a lot of mixed energy. But I do feel a lot of them coming forward. Like they are, they know they have to, even though they're scared of the vulnerability, they know that that's necessary. Um, and then this card says, I let my fear and my pride get the best of me and drive us apart. And then this card says, I want to be vulnerable with you. I want to let you in. I'm trying, even if it doesn't seem like I am. And this card pops up, popped out, the Three of Pentacles. So they are really working on creating something new um, in their personal lives and with you. They're they're working on these, these new creative projects, I feel. Um, what else does that card want to tell me? I'm trying to tap into it really quick. Three of Pentacles. It's just, it's creativity. It's like, it's like I said, they're, they're, you know, reclaiming that, that side of themselves that they lost, you know, working the nine to five jobs and, and dealing with busy life. They're just, they're not at a point where they can do that anymore. All right, let's look, see, let's see. What do you, what are their thoughts and feelings about you right now? Like, what do you, what are, what are the masculines? So let me put it, pay attention in. I'm channeling people that are drawn to this video. What are, you know, it could be an ex, could be a current lover, could be a new lover. And I do see new love for a lot of you, actually. I do see that you're going to have some options coming your way. Um, as well as these these exes and these, I, I feel like the energy of, like, secret admirers. Like, I feel like someone stalking you on social media and kind of, like, keeping tabs on your posts. And um, this could be someone in, it could be someone around you, like someone you trying to think of where this could be like someone you work with someone in your apartment it's like it could be someone that like sees you like they see you I just don't know where they see you like I don't know if they physically see you in person or if they just like see your posts and like see your like your beautiful pictures that you post up and like comment or like them or like you know they just they watch you they watch the things you post and it's like they want to talk but they're they're scared and they're they're just in their headspace. So anyway, let's see. What do they feel? What are they? What are they feeling? What are they feeling for you right now? What are they feeling for you right now? Is that, is that it? Okay. Okay, let's 
see what we've got here. High Priestess of Earth. So they are kind of in their head about everything that's going on collectively. But I feel like a lot of this is about how they see you. It's like they see you as this high priestess of earth. They see you as someone who's connected, who's very empathetic and who's showing empathy at this, at a crisis, during a crisis like this. You know, they see you as someone who's very empathetic, very loving, very connected to, to nature, to animals. Um, they see you as this goddess, this very sophisticated, elegant woman. And I think that kind of intimidates them. They don't really know how to talk to you. And I feel like this this reading right here, at least the first part of it, is about how they see you. And meditation is, um, I feel like they're connecting you to, you to you through dreams, through um, telepathy. And, you know, they're meditating on it. They're thinking about it. And I think this is how they see you, too. They see you as this, this person who meditates. They see you. It's either you could literally meditate or they could just see you as someone. Maybe you guys have talked about meditation and spiritual spiritual paths and that kind of thing. Or maybe they've just... Um, they just see you as this spiritual, grounded person, this this stability in a times of darkness, you know? Um, they they like how you're... I feel like they, they like how you're... The chaotic energy, like how you're reacting to it, they like that about you. However it is that you're reacting to all this chaos, they really like it. Um, individuality. And again, there's a very strong need for them to protect you. Like, I really feel that from them. So many of them wanting to want to protect you, but they see you as this, this strong, confident, spiritual, beautiful, amazing, seductive woman. And they're like, does she need protection? Does she want my protection? Like, you're so confident, I think, in a way that they're almost like... Or you come off as confident. I feel like maybe when you, maybe you break down in the shower sometimes, and you just you have these these moments where you just feel like you can't handle it anymore. But but they how you appear to people is is very strong, very balanced, very confident. Um, and that that's just for an insecure man that's intimidating. Um, individuality. So they see you as is you're unique. There's they know that they're not going to find another woman like you. They know that there's not that many women out there like you vision um you know aphrodite they they might they might relate you to the goddess aphrodite this is also about the moon so i feel like the we had some the planetary alignment what was it a, a new moon recently there was a lot of really powerful psychic energy and i feel like a lot of that opened things up to bring these people in through um through dreams and telepathic connections and um and you know you they're seeing you as this goddess they're seeing you as this this beautiful seductress and they know right now so we've got honest and we've got choices and they're looking you, you see right here they're looking towards this candle this could if you're a witch this could be candle magic this could be um candle magic you've done that's affecting them it could just be it's it's also just fire energy this could be aries leo um sagittarius energy it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be someone that's, that's resonating with that energy right now. You know, if that's not your actual zodiac sign, it could be your moon sign too. Um, but this fire energy, it's like it's passion, it's it's love, it's raw emotion, it's it's honesty, it's vulnerability, it's having these honest heart to heart talks and being open and vulnerable with you. And and you know, they're realizing that they have a choice that they need to decide: are they going to step up or not? You know, are they going to come in and have this honest conversation and let themselves be vulnerable with you or not? Um, and then we've got the oath card here. So I feel like with this card, if this person made a promise to you in the past or they told you they were going to change or they were going to do something or they were going to take you on a date, they were going to do something, they're wanting you to, um, to stick to that oath. And I also just feel like the energy of oath, you know, you see it's a very strong, very masculine man, very, um, like a warrior spirit. Like you've got like a warrior spirit. That's the energy this man, this person's wanting to get into. They want to be the warrior for you. They want to be your protector. They want to be your provider. Um, they're just not a hundred percent sure if your confidence will, you know, if, you, if you'll allow that, they're not sure if you're going to let them back in and they're not sure if you even need that or not. They're, they're not fully sure how, I feel like they're not sure if you're like how reliant you are on men. Like they're they're not really sure how much. I almost feel like an old fashioned energy to some degree, where it's like they want to protect you, but they're like, like they want to open the car door for you, and they're like, oh, is she gonna let me do that, or is she gonna be like, oh no, I can do it myself, like that kind of energy, where they're like, is is this gonna be okay? Is this not gonna be okay? So there's there's a bit of a um, a traditional masculine protective energy that this 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 these men have. I feel. Um, 
an oath is just they they know that if they come in they need to make a promise to you and they need to stick to that energy they need to stick to that promise um they they can't just mess around anymore so let's see so one thing that a lot of and it's 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 common for a lot of psychics to do readings and you know sometimes we forget to say like what's going on physically because a lot of times like we we see what's going on astrally and sometimes you do have to I mean, I do feel like what I what I just told you that is that is going on both astrally and physically, but it's it's also in their headspace, and you know you can't wait forever for somebody. You know what I mean? A lot of times people watch these videos, and these men are in this space where it's like they're almost there, they're almost breaking down, they want to talk to you, and they do, they do think about you. But the question is, are they ever gonna let go of their pride or not? Um, so let's see. I'm gonna do a couple different things. Let's see. What energy is needed on just on your end? Like, what do you, what do you need to um, to bring this connection in? What can you do on your end? Because I know it gets it gets tiring because you're like, do I text him? Do I not text him? Should I play hard to get? Should I talk to him um, or her? This could be you know if you're resonating with other energy, it could be it could be whatever you want it to be. It's it's whatever energy you're currently in and resonating with. But it's like you get you get in your head too. You guys both get in your head and then you mirror each other and it's like you get confused and they get confused and then you get more confused and they get more confused and it just gets chaotic. So what energy can you get yourself into to, um, you know, to, to have love, to have the life that you want, to, to bring about this connection, to get them to move forward? Is there anything that you can do on your end? Um... Okay. Surrender to trust. So crap. I'm sorry, my camera sucks. Okay, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that within the next week. Um, I just have to figure out how because I don't know shit about technology. Trust. Trust yourself. You see a woman in you probably can't see it, but it's it's like this blue green energy, and this woman is meditating. She's wearing a dress and she's just there's a there's a strong energy of meditation in this reading. It says, trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. You know, don't listen to the people that are jealous. Just just take action and be confident that you've chosen the right path. So, you know, if you guys are going to do this, then do this. Like, if you guys are going to choose each other and love each other, then do it. You know, get to it. Um, You know, trust and surrender fear. I feel like this is a twin flame reading for a lot of you because I see I see this mirroring effect. This is either a twin flame or a very strong soulmate that you've had many past lives with. Um, a surrender fear, you know, let go of the fearful stories you're telling yourself and stay in the moment. Focus on solutions and celebrate every baby step forward. So if you get a text from them, don't freak out and smother them and and blow their phone up right back. Just just be like, okay, that's cool, that's good, that's something you know, keep it short and sweet and simple. Um, and don't, you know, the fear doesn't help you. Like if you're, you're the thing with vulnerability, it's like, if you love someone, you love them and you're, you're, you're screwed. You're screwed or you're not screwed. You know what I mean? Like if you're going to love someone, you're going to love them. The fear is going to do you no good. It's not going to protect you. It's like, you got to make that decision to be vulnerable or to not be vulnerable. You know, is this person worth it to you? Um, cause the fear just, you should have boundaries. I'm not saying you shouldn't, like you should have boundaries. You shouldn't tolerate disrespect. You shouldn't tolerate them being in and out at all. I'm definitely not saying that you should, but I'm just saying that the, the fear does no good, you know, overthinking it and wondering if you're going to get hurt and just being in that energy. It's, it's, it's pointless. You know what I mean? Like if you're, if you're vulnerable and you've already opened your heart and let that, that, let that person in, then they're in, there's no getting them out just like that. You know what I mean? Like if they're in, they're in. <laughs> Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. So take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Or replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. I feel like your person is doing this too. They might be going on hikes and they might be going out in nature. They might be um, meditating. They might just be doing fun stuff and wishing that you were there with them doing it. Um, maybe like a, a camping spot or somewhere you guys went together. And then they're surrendering to this to this green energy. It's it's this this um you know the be the beauty of the natural world they're they're you guys are both in the same energy and surrender to prayer so ask your spirit guides for what you want be very clear about what you want give yourself over completely to prayer when you pray from your heart 
you will be heard throughout the universe and answers will, will support arrive and oh wait, wait and answers and support will arrive that's what it says surrender stubbornness if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with yourself and with others. So again, if you guys are having communication problems, just the stubbornness, it doesn't, I feel like it's, oh, it's almost like a battle with yourself. Like, do I let them in? Do I not let them in? And it's, it's kind of like, you got to get off that back and forth merry-go-round energy and, and make up your mind. You know, if you want them to make up your mind, you got to make up your mind too. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So I feel like for this group, it's it's kind of letting go of stubbornness, letting go of control issues, letting go of worry, um, not obsessing over their texts or calls, not not holding on too tightly. And I feel like if you guys do witchcraft, um, this is also letting go of your attachment. Like when you do witchcraft is just like, Put that energy out there but then let it manifest like let it flow to you you're kind of blocking the flow right now and you want to do some chakra clearing and you want to do some work to um to get out of that energy okay i want to get some more clarification can you clarify please for this group what is the action in the physical world the masculine is most likely to take um towards the feminine this week let's just look at the next week so let's look at the energy over the next week what is the action that in the physical world like let's not let's not focus on the astral we already know we already know you guys are telepathically communicating and they could be showing up in your dreams definitely um what is going on in the physical world how many do we want spirit <laughs> spirit's like put down 20 cards i'm like no we're, we're not going to do that actually <laughs> it's not a thing not a thing <laughs> okay we're gonna take four cards eight of swords eight of pentacles knight of cups queen of wands okay eight of swords they're feeling like a victim they're still in this victim energy where the eight of swords in the traditional tarot the eight of swords is um someone who's got swords all around them and there's a clear path forward. It's right in front of their face and they're just oblivious to it. It's like almost like you're, I almost feel like you're like, hey, stupid, like message me, talk to me. What's wrong with you? Stop being a pussy. And they're just over here like looking at all these other swords around them like, oh, what do I do? Like what's going on? And it's like this clear path is right in front of them. Like you're right in front of their face and they're just being blind. Um, and they're playing the victim and they're just, they're not, it's, it's, they feel like it's so much worse than it is. And they're in this victim energy. What can I get from the eight of pentacles? Okay. So this is about perseverance and, you know, hard work and patience. And they know that they have to be patient with you. They know that they know you're different. They know you're worth it. They know, they see you as a spiritual goddess is what I'm getting. They see you as this very beautiful, very amazing woman. Um, I feel like this is also... I feel like you guys are mostly focusing on yourselves this week. Like, I do feel like you're waiting on communication from them, but I do feel like a lot of you are really focusing on the collective energy, all the craziness that's going around. You're focusing on healing the planet. You're focusing on um, just yourselves, what comes next financially, you know, focusing on art, focusing on creativity, on music. Now that you guys, you know, might have some downtime, um, focusing on career, focusing on protecting yourselves, just there's a lot going on collectively. So I feel like a lot of you guys are just, you're, you're kind of focusing on yourselves. And I feel like there's also new skills that you guys are developing. This could be ascension and psychic awakening, maybe developing more psychic skills. Um, this could also be reading too. It's like knowledge. It's like, they're just, there's just this strong energy I get from this card of you guys kind of just healing and working on yourselves a lot this week but it's like you're doing it together but you're maybe not doing it in the same building but it's like you guys are both in this same energy so I feel like this might be your twin flame um like I said I, very, I feel a very strong connection I feel like you guys mirror each other a lot I don't know if you're aware of it or not but it's like you they feel what you feel you feel what they feel so it's like when you're healing and working on yourself they're they're in that same energy right now that you're in um just just focusing on on everything that's going on around you and and um 
you know, focusing on your passions and, and career as much as you can, too. We see the Nine of Cups here. I'm trying to, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about it. Um, so I, I get a, a strong, like, Irish-Scottish energy. I get this green energy. It's almost like it's heart chakra energy, for one thing. And you see this, this woman here. Can you see that clearly? See how she's kind of um, looking away from the frog? And that's almost, they almost see themselves as the, as the frog. And they see you as this beautiful, seductive woman that they're not sure that they have a chance with anymore. Um, so it's like towards the end of the week, it's like they're looking to you more, but they still feel insecure. They still don't know how to talk to you. They still don't know if you'll take them back after this could be again I again I get two different energies um for some of you I feel like this is actually two different men and for others I feel like it's the same man that's in the same energy so there's um again for some of you it's someone who's shy and insecure and scared and they're feeling that way because they hurt you and they fucked you over and they know that and so they feel like shit about themselves for it and they don't know how they don't know what to say they don't know how to come back from that um for others of you, I feel like it's two different men. It's it's one person who's shy and insecure and thinks that you're beautiful and that you're just too good for them and they don't think you would give them the time of day and they don't want to humiliate themselves. And then there's also this other man who fucked you over, probably an ex, um, and, and they also don't know how to come to you. So it's like you've got these men kind of stalking your social media. Um or stalking you even like out not not like in this not in a bad way but almost like when you're out in public maybe someone who just sees you and just thinks you're so beautiful and so spiritual and so amazing and they don't know how to talk to you um queen of wands is how they see you this this passional passionate powerful seductive goddess um you know you see like the the peacock energy here where she's just like she's on top of the world and again they're they're kind of like they want to protect you and take care of you and they don't know if someone like you even needs protection or taken care of they don't know how you're going to react to them um so yeah they they are you might get a text you might get like a little insecure text like oh hey how's your day um don't mean to bother you like that kind of like scare text or maybe liking your pictures on facebook or instagram or twitter or wherever you're at um, or maybe maybe blushing when they see you, that kind of energy. I don't feel any, um, you know what, they could, they could get drunk or they could, they, they could push themselves to send you, to tell you how they feel. I, I do feel that energy that they, they might do that. They might actually come forward. Um, I just feel like, I feel a very um, nervous energy from them. Like they really, they are thinking about you. They are very vulnerable with you right now, but it's, it's in their headspace. It's kind of like when they go to sleep at night, they're thinking about you. Um, but, but again, they're just, they're not sure how you would react to them. They're not sure what you would say. Um, they're not sure what they would say. They're, they don't want to sound like an idiot. I feel like this person might be a little I feel like they're either socially awkward naturally or they're socially awkward just considering the circumstances. Maybe it's been a long time since you guys have talked and they don't know whether to say, hey, how is your day? Or to say, oh my god, I fucked up so much. I miss you. How is everything going? Um, I heard break up with that other man. I don't know. Maybe that's for one of you. I feel like that's for a specific person. I just got that immediately where this guy is like jealous and he's like, break up with that other guy. Break up with him. I can't handle it. <laughs> So they might be on your social media seeing you post maybe other guys liking your pictures, maybe seeing you with another guy, and they're they're not feeling it. They're not happy about it. But anyway, yeah. Um, shy, awkward, nervous energy, um, energy of regret, energy of longing, sadness, um, eight of swords energy, you know, kind of playing the victim, and you're right there in front of their face. All they have to do is reach out, and they're just blind. They're not seeing it. They're just getting lost in their head and thinking, oh, she might not accept me back she might not like me like that she might just want to be friends she might um you know maybe this is someone that you're friends with that feels like you they're in the friend zone um you know this just energy of of whatever the situation may be it's like this energy of like oh i don't know if she's actually gonna want me um and so yeah they're kind of in their in their headspace um right now i don't think it's like a bad thing all over i mean i feel like I feel like you guys are doing some soul searching. Like, I feel, again, I feel a very strong connection between you two, maybe a twin flame connection, because I feel you guys mirroring each other's energy a lot. 
So as, as you heal yourself and you let go of control issues and you let go of your fear and you be true to who you are and just get in your power and focus on your hobbies and your art, regardless of whether he does or doesn't come back, just, you know, being in this, this powerful, loving energy, it's, it's like he, he feels that loving energy too. You know what I mean? It's like, as you heal yourself, you heal him too. Um, and again, he just, he looks at you like you're this, this amazing spiritual, I keep getting the word spiritual, like he sees you as spiritual. I don't know if you're, if you're also a witch or also a psychic like I am, but it's, it's like he, um, or if you meditate or do you do, um, maybe the way you dress, do you dress, do you guys dress? Like, do you wear, is there certain outfits you wear? It's just like, he's very... I don't know. You could be religious. You might not be religious. I'm not sure. He just sees you as a very spiritual, very sophisticated, very, um, a lot of life experience, a lot of just, just above him. He sees you as above him. He sees you as this amazing, powerful, confident, beautiful goddess. And he knows that if he were to come in, he would have to offer you the world. And so he's struggling trying to figure out if he could do that and how he could do it and what he can say to you. So, um, so yeah, so to sum it up, this this week he's just he is overthinking things he is in his head a lot he is thinking about you he might come through in your dreams he might come through telepathically for a lot of you guys um try to try to keep a dream journal and remember your dreams they feel like i feel like with this psychic energy i feel like a lot of you might end up having some really um prophetic like really important powerful dreams and um, again, let go of the control issues, let go of the fear, you know, focus on your on your hobbies, on whatever it is you're passionate about. Um, you know, if you're whatever career you have, whatever it is, just focus on that right now. Um, if there is communication this week, it's it's so weird because it's so up and down. It's so like, I feel like he could just say, hey, what's up? Like all shy and scared and insecure or he could um pour his heart out he could get drunk and drunk text you and and pour his heart out and and say all this stuff or he could just get drunk and just you know finally work up the he's trying to work up the courage to talk to you there's so much nervous energy with him but he 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 sees you and he doesn't want to let any other man swoop you up and he he wants to talk to you he really does um and he's just very nervous about it so it's just a matter of whether or not he's going to work through this energy but either way, he definitely is trying to, and I do see it coming, whether it's this week or it's the week after, I, I do see that, um, like, I mean, he is in his headspace. He is really, really in his headspace and really thinking about you, but I, I do sense him, like, almost picking up his phone and then setting it down because he's like, oh, that sounds stupid. I can't say that or whatever. You know, it's like he's overthinking it, and he doesn't realize that you're right there in front of his face and that he's, you know, like, he's got you. He doesn't, he doesn't know that, though. He doesn't know that you, he doesn't know that you, um, and he doesn't know he still has a chance with you is what I feel. So, so yeah, he's, he's going back and forth in his head right now. Um, the desire is there and it's very strong and he's very vulnerable right now. He's in a very sad, very vulnerable place, very emotional place. He's getting in contact with his soul again. He's awakening his psychic abilities. He's really, um, in this deep vulnerable place. So if he does reach out, please be gentle with him. You know, the masculines need empathy. They need support and love just like we do. They need just as much support and empathy as we do. So if he does reach out, please know that it was hard for him to, even if it's just a high, it was still hard for him to work up the energy to do that. So, so please go easy on him and, and, and be soft with him. And, um, next week, either Monday or Wednesday, I'll be, you know, checking in again to see, you know, how the, the energy has progressed. Uh, please like, share, um, subscribe. And if you would like a personal reading, just message me. My email is below. Thank you guys for watching.